Hey everybody, quick PSA on diuretic use and lymphedema. I am talking about this topic because a recent patient of mine who I was treating successfully for her lymphedema all of a sudden started having worsening of her symptoms along with some shortness of breath, difficulty performing activities that she was doing much more easily just a couple of weeks before, and she was diagnosed with acute heart failure, was hospitalized, and is now taking diuretics. So it brought me to, it got me thinking about all of the patients I see throughout the years of my practice who tell me, oh, my doctor told me that I can take diuretics as needed for my swollen legs, or the doctor told me that I should up my dose of diuretics to help my lower leg swelling. And some things that I'm sure either all of you as therapists have heard or some of you as patients have considered, and I wanna clear this up right now. Diuretics are a class of drugs they're also known as water pills, and they are very, very effective medications at reducing the water volume within our body. This water is expelled through our body, through our kidneys, and eventually our urine. So it reduces whole body water volume. This is very effective at treating two main conditions, high blood pressure and heart failure. It does this because when we reduce the water volume within our blood vessels, the vessels, number one, have less pressure on them so they can more effectively pump fluid, excuse me, they can more effectively pump blood throughout the body. And it also helps the heart much more effectively um, pump blood throughout the body instead of having difficulty pumping the blood so it backs up and can cause a lower extremity edema. So water pills reduce the water, make our blood vessels as well as our heart work more effectively and help get rid of some of that extra fluid or edema that is in our body. Lymphedema is not just water. Lymphedema is a high protein accumulation of fluid within a part of the body that should not be treated with diuretics. That being said, I find that there might always be a certain situation or two where a doctor will put a patient on a diuretic for a very short period of time, typically a week or so, to reduce fluid volume, to reduce a, chain, a very sudden and large change in fluid component to help get it under control so that a patient might more effectively be treated by their therapist. I challenge any patient who tells me that their doctor told me they can take it as needed. That is not appropriate dosing of a medication. Additionally, when we remove fluid, when we remove water, especially in someone who has lymphedema, the protein component will remain underneath the skin in the tissues. Long term, that causes more problems because it will increase the fibrosis or the scarring or hardening of the tissue as well as the skin over time, making the skin and tissue less mobile, less flexible, and that makes treatment with manual lymph drainage much more difficult for the therapist. We need good skin mobility in order to stretch the skin and remove lymphatic fluid from a congested area. So I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. If you have questions, if you don't understand the difference between reducing water volume and reducing lymphatic volume, um, I think the key takeaway here is that long-term protein sitting underneath the skin within the affected tissue will cause more problems and more fibrosis and more scarring, making it more difficult to treat a true lymphedema in the long term. So please make sure you understand this. I welcome any questions you might have. I welcome any feedback you might have and hope this has been a helpful PSA. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.